A spike in the sale of bulletproof backpacks in Southern California has some parents concerned about the message that it sends to young students, while others feel the backpacks are necessary. So, how effective are they? And MC 4s I team tried out one of the latest versions now on sale at stores in your neighborhood. Our consumer reporter Randy Mack shows us what is important that you need to know before you invest in one. There is nothing more frightening to parents than seeing the images of shootings in Gilroy, El Paso, and Dayton so close to the start of the school year. It's just one of those topics that you just you're just not prepared to have like deep thoughts about. The schoolyard certainly not immune from the danger. I'm the grandparents of these four beautiful little girls, and uh, you know, back in the day, we didn't have the worries that we have today. We didn't have the terrorists that we have today. It's the reason so many parents are looking for any way possible to keep their kids safe. One way this year found here in the backpack aisle: bulletproof backpacks now flying off the shelf make me feel like she's safe, that she's protected. In the past, these backpacks could be heavy and expensive, but this is the updated version from one of the leading manufacturers, Guard Dog. Marketed as lighter, brighter, and more affordable. The I-Team found it for sale in stores across Southern California. We bought one at Walmart.com for under $100. The star Williams wants one for her daughter. God forbid she ever got a shot at the backpack protector, I'll be so glad and so happy. The company says the backpack will stop a bullet from a 9 millimeter handgun. To find out, the I-Team brought it to the ballistics unit at USC Keck and shot it. Watching everything, USC trauma surgeon Kenji Inaba. He operates on gunshot wounds regularly. So let's take a look at it, Doc. All right, so... We've got we go. a couple you can of... see, yeah, here and here. Okay. Let's, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the back first. So it looks like it's intact. Looks like it did uh, prevent that bullet from penetrating through. through. But what about those high-powered rifles used in recent shootings? Unfortunately, this is rated to stop only handgun bullets, which it did for us today. Um, it is likely that it would not stop a rifle uh, bullet. It's simply not practical. I mean, Yasir like, Sheikh again, is the president of Guard Dog. He says in order to protect against higher caliber bullets, the backpack would have to include a ceramic plate that is just too heavy. So imagine having a piece of marble slab in the back in your backpack and walking around with that on a daily basis. Now imagine a child walking around with that on a daily basis. Imagining the need to wear one at all is what bothers some parents. I mean, it's like what what next? Helmets to go to a kindergarten and then. You know what I'm saying? Like, looking like they're enrolled in the Army when they're four? I don't know. The company says you also need to teach students how to use the backpack, to pull it up from behind to protect maybe your head or your vital organs, or using it right in front of you like a shield. Now, some parents we talked with say they were worried about scaring their kids, about teaching them all of that kind of stuff, but the company says it's really no different than fire or earthquake drills when we were kids. They say protecting against a shooting, an active shooter, is a reality yeah. children of today may actually face. Certainly a, a tough sign of the times. Sad statement, though, on it the really times. It really is. It really is. Thank you.